Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. OpenAI has just dropped GPT-5, their smartest and most accurate LLM-8. It's faster, more reliable and way better at coding, writing, health advice and even multi-model tasks like analyzing image and diagrams as per their announcement. It also uses an unified system uh, that basically kind of gives you quick responses for simple stuff and deep reasoning for complex problem. And they also claim that it's 55% like fewer uh, factual errors are made by GPT-5 when compared to, you know, GPT-40. And now you can access it directly through the OpenAI API. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to connect to GPT-5 API in Python and start building with it. So let's get started. So later you can also go through this uh, announcement page that they have about like the more details and like all the benchmarks that they have given. So now let's just dive right in to see how we can use this with OpenAI client, the library in Python. Okay, so I'll be using my uh, Google collaboratory environment. So here I've connected my system. So the first thing I'm going to do is install OpenAI library's latest version. So the latest version is this 1.99.3. So I'm installing it in quiet mode so that I don't see like all those installation messages over here. So this shouldn't take longer. Okay. So the next part is we need to get the API key, the open AI API key. So let me show that to you. Okay. So just go to Google and search for open AI API key and you will see this create an open AI API key. So you should have an account created over there. So for new account, uh, they kind of provide credits and so on. So mine is a older account. So I had to kind of put like $10 uh credit in it and then i'm kind of working on it so if it's not working for you for some of the models right you probably have to like you know provide some billing details and so on but yeah so i in my case i've just like added a kind of ten dollar credits for this particular video so once you are logged in so you can go to this uh, create new secret key so here i'll call this as you know gpt5 uh, testing and create secret key so copy this ap key that you get so in our actual project uh, environment we will put this in a dot env file but in this case as we are just like trying to do it simply i'll just like directly save this to the environment variable so i can just say so first i'm importing the os library and uh, in this os dot environ which is going to save the ap key to the environment variable i'm going to say open ai underscore ap key and is equal to so we can paste the value that we have copied okay so when you are trying this code uh, please make sure that you are passing your api key just like replace this with your own key and now let's see how we can call the client okay so we will try like some some of the simple stuff and later we can move to the other uh, you know complex applications that we can build with it so first i'll say from open ai import open ai Okay, so with the uppercase O and AI, and you can say client is equal to open AI, the one that we have just imported. So this would need that API key, you can directly pass it, but rather we are just like saving it in the environment variable. So this open AI library is going to directly pick it up from there. And then we can say response is equal to client dot responses dot create. And within that, first you need to pass the model similar to how you would pass like the other models like the GPT 4.1s, the 3.5 turbos and so on. So here you can say GPT 5 and also other interesting uh, thing is right. So GPT 5 comes in like, uh, you know, three versions. So one is like the normal uh, version. The other things that we have are like the, you know, nanos and uh, I think the other one is like mini. Let me show you. So for, if you go to this for developers, right? So yeah, so we have GPT-5, GPT-5 Mini and GPT-5 Nano. And again, you can see the price difference we have for input. We have like uh, 1.25 output is like $10 per 1 million token. And GPT Mini is like much lesser than that. So it's like a faster, cheaper version of GPT-5 for well-defined tasks. So it's like $0.25 and this is $2 per 1 million token. And the fastest like and the most cheaper, cheapest version probably like, uh, yeah, of course the performance is going to be a bit low, but yeah, these are the three versions that they are providing. So we can just try all these things by just like updating this model parameter over here. And then in this input, you can just like uh, pass like, which is like the question that you're asking the model. So this is the one that they given in the documentation. So I'll just like for simplicity sake, I'll go with that. So it is this particular question. So input is how much gold would it take to quote the Statue of Liberty 
in a one millimeter layer so basically this is kind of like a reasoning question it, it has to answer and again you can just like uh, give details like how you want this response to be so i can say you know reasoning yes, uh, this is kind of like an optional parameter you don't have to give it all the time but yeah so this one is like let's say we have this uh, you know reasoning effort it's a dictionary format so i can say minimal that means like that it's it's not going to spend so much time on like you know working on this as a reasoning problem so that's like one option so you can also control it with like low medium high and so on minimal is going to be like the reasoning effort is going to be very minimal so this is how you can call this client so client dot responses dot create so this is the first thing that we are trying and then you can just like if you want to print this entire response with like all the metadata that comes with it you can just say print print response but it's going to be like too much the amount of text that it's going to throw is going to be too much if you want the actual response you can just say print response dot output uh, when it's, it's kind of like a complex data structure so this is how we can access it so content i'll see if we could access this in a more simpler way and if possible i'll just put it on the comment but again if you just want the response you can just use this print response dot output one dot content dot text so this is where the output is going to be so run this okay so this is the first case uh, let it run in the meantime we can also try it with gpt uh, 5 mini so along with this effort right uh, of reasoning effort of minimal we also have like other kind of variations that we can try so one such thing is like text how much text you want so that maybe i'll just show it to you directly so here i can say verbosity is equal to hello let's come back to this let's go to the first one okay so this is a short answer that we got so short answer about 20 to 30 metric tons of coal so here is the estimate and so on so it has like did the calculations and it kind of uh, came up with this particular answer so this is how you can just like call this model and run it right so this is one way so similar question we will ask for the other models and my feel is like it's like all the models can give like different answers because of the temperature value and again how each of these models work and so on so we cannot expect like the same exact value for the questions like this okay so that's one point so the next one is like verbose so it's kind of reduces the amount of verbose or the text it's going to get it's it would make your models give the response faster as it doesn't have to type like long text produce long text so it's going to be faster if you want to see this entire response right you can say print response so or it's it's just like coming in one single line so you can just say just response so you will see like the amount of data it kind of gives so if you want to see this in a structured way just do response dot two dict so this would just like display this convert it into a dictionary and display this but it is not saved if you want to display save this somewhere and process it you can just like create another variable and say let's say uh, output is equal to response dot two dict but i just want to see this in a dictionary view so i can just say response dot two dict so here you can see the id uh, you know output and everything so this is how we have accessed it so we have said response dot output and so on so you just go here response dot output we said kind of like uh, one because like just like this is a list output is a list and the second element as like the actual output so we kind of like go there so that's how you can access this so in this case again the same question we have just like added verbosity as low and we are using gpt5 mini so just like run this right so it, it's pretty quick probably because of that verbosity and everything it's kind of like quicker and we got like an output i mean yeah the output is different but yeah so this is how we can call gpt5 mini similarly you can just like uh, try the nano as well which is going to be like very cost effective so you can just like try that of course like the cost of gpt5 is like it seems to be high so you can just like try nano for some of the cases but yeah if you're using agents and and other complex systems you probably have to switch to the larger model as it would perform way better so that's something that we need to call so if the agent has to do like a simpler task we can stick with gpt5 nano if it it's kind of like a complex task then we can go with gpt5 and so on so this is for nano uh, you can just like try this with uh, you know different uh, questions and then see like how it's working so that's all i wanted to talk about today just like an initial uh, video of how you can basically access this in the upcoming videos let's also try to build rack systems and also agent system with let's say pyrantic ai agents or 
you know crew ai agents to see like how it works in um, you know in, in a agent framework and uh, also they claim that it's kind of really good in terms of like tool callings and, and agent tasks so let's also like try this out and yeah maybe if possible we can also discuss about the benchmarks and everything okay just try this initially we'll kind of work on more advanced stuff as we move along so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next upload bye